So on, we're down here at uh, Blundell's gym where I've just caught you uh, sparring with uh, a kid who's fighting on the same show as you, yeah. uh, Joe Howard. Yeah. Um, both of you, you, you are just 20, aren't you? Yeah, just turned 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Joe's just turned 20 as well, he's, oh, he's going to be turning think 20 in May, I think, maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. But uh, both had very impressive 2021s. You, you made your debut yeah. uh, where it was against Danny Little and uh, we thought Danny would just give you a good good four rounds yeah. you know and uh, and it was it was really surprising because you heard Danny, you heard Danny yeah, early on, you know, his third round. round was I thought it was the second and um, right put him over and really shocked him but, but prior to putting him over it was still a very dominant performance and yeah. look at you, you look like a little baby mate <laughs> yeah, that's it so so it was, it was it was a surprise to to me and your manager steve wood because we were we didn't know what to expect were you expecting that were you expecting um, that type of performance uh, yeah i was but i wasn't looking for it i was just doing as steve said just box and then if a knockdown comes it comes that they're looking for it yeah and they didn't they just it just happened, it was the speed really, the really power. Yeah, when was that? Well, that was what, in November was that? When you made yeah, your yeah, debut? Yeah, November the 19th, yeah. yeah. So we're back out now on uh, April the 2nd for, for fight number two. Do we have any idea of an opponent? Um, I've not heard nothing of Steve Woods yet. No, I've, I've not heard anything I'm yet. Sure he'll, I'm sure he'll come through and get me on mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but what, are you, what are you hoping for then now, you know, because you, you're still uh, young and just watching you moving around with, with Joe. And, and Joe, a, a kid who made a, a big impression last year. Yeah. And I think he had three fights and three stoppages. Which, yeah, that's why that's yeah. I was sparring with him, really. So got to be with him. And how did you find that? Because he, he, he's strong, isn't he? Yeah, he is strong. I thought it was. I thought it was good, this part of his second spot, spotted yeah. him again Monday, but mm -hmm. it was better than Monday it was, and hopefully next time he'll be better again. Yeah, well, because, be because normally your, your sparring part is a kid who's fighting this weekend in Paul Echimedes. Uh, yeah, well, I've not been sparring him for a while, but too big for him now. Too big for him now. So, Steve says. <laughs> yeah, I am too big for him really. Yeah. But do you know something, it he, he wouldn't bother him though, would it, no, Paul Echimedes? He, he loves it, doesn't he? He'd jump in there and have a fight with anyone, like, yeah, maybe he's 20 stone or... <laughs> Six but, but how do you feel? I've asked the other fighters as well. You know, how do you feel now? You've had that pro debut and it's out of the way. Do you, do you feel different? Most fighters say they're totally different. And, and also, you know, when Steve, Steve Goodwin, the coach, is yeah. telling you things, does it all sink in a lot bit easier now from from that pro debut? Yeah, it feels it's more like a, a job now, than yeah. other, other than a hobby. But it's, but it's both still, but do it more like. To learn. What learn do, the do you job. work or do you, is this your yeah, job? What, what do you do? do? Um, I do landscaping. Oh, right. Oh, well, well, that's good, isn't it? Because that, that keeps you fit then, isn't it? Yeah. That's, uh, it's like uh, doing a strength and conditioning yeah. course for, for, for eight hours a day, isn't it? Yeah, but I do get the time off to obviously come down here today mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock in the morning and then go back and do a little run later. But, but like I say, you can, you can fit in and, and work around that. And, yeah. and, and, and like I say, it doesn't do you no harm, that no. physical graft. It, yeah, it yeah. only enhances you, doesn't it? Um, to make you physically really. stronger. Yeah. And at your age, that's well, yeah, brilliant, isn't it? Because it's what you need. You, you, you're being paid to train, yeah. which is unusual, isn't yeah, it? Isn't it? Exactly. Normally you're having to pay someone else to train. There you are, somebody's giving you money to, to get physically fit. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I'm excited because, like I say, you were a kid that I weren't really, I didn't know what to expect, but what you did deliver, I really enjoyed. So I'm hoping on April the 2nd at Wigan, at Robin Park, yeah. you're going to do it again. And uh, when you do, I'll be chatting to you afterwards and hopefully be saying 2-0. We'll definitely be saying 2-0. So, you take care, mate. Cheers, thank you. See you later.